Normally, when you see a Facebook post like this one with a cute little blonde girl walking a fluffy little puppy with urgent text next to the post exclaiming that she's missing, the first thing you want to do is share the post, at least to do your part, to raise awareness to find this missing, helpless little girl. However, this is one missing post that you do not want to share. It's all a big scam. Police departments are warning people about this scam. Let's talk about why so many people are falling for this scam in the first place. My niece, Bella Heather, she's five years old, has been missing for seven hours, reads the urgent post, making it seem as if you act quickly and spread the news, this tiny tot can be found with the cute name, Bella Heather, two cute first names. She was last seen playing with her pup on our porch and they spell porch incorrectly maybe on purpose to make it look like a real person wrote this in whatever location they are using a variety of locations claiming that's where the little girl went missing from making people think it happened close by an amber alert has been activated please keep our sweet girl in your prayers and thoughts help bump this post she can't be far, thank you. So people see this and they think, oh my goodness, I better share it right away. She's only been missing seven hours. Maybe we can find her. I don't know where these scammers got the photo of the cute little girl. She's adorable. They probably stole it from some mom who had posted an innocent social media post of her daughter because I couldn't find the image on a stock image website anywhere, but they definitely chose a photo that would pull at the heartstrings of people who want the little girl found ASAP and her little puppy of course. Notably they didn't choose a child of color and they did not choose a boy. I've noticed in my true crime career that children, females, especially those not of color tend to get a lot of attention. I've seen people with good intentions sharing prayers, sharing the post, some angrily asking what the little girl was doing alone without even questioning whether the post is real or not. They assume it's real. However, once they share the post to these local random buy and sell or other Facebook groups, the scammer then changes the original post. So let's say they get 100 people to share it. And then no longer is it a post about this missing little girl. A post that you may have shared on Facebook, it transforms into something about some urgent vacation rent-to-own home. You know, it'll say stuff like, my grandparents need to rent out this home quickly. Or it's some money-making scam, like a way to make money. And it'll include all these links that I wouldn't trust people to click on. By sharing what you think is an urgent post about a missing girl, Facebook Facebook users think you're co-signing onto whatever the post becomes, and those posts that are changed likely contain bad links, malware, seeking to take over your computer or gain your personal info. You know, I've seen people click on stuff and it takes over their whole computer. It gets their personal info. They can have their accounts hacked. But police departments are warning people, like the Baldwin Police Department posted the following warning on August 7th. This photograph has been shared with our agency several times over the last couple of weeks. According to the post, this five-year-old little girl is missing from Baldwin. So they switched up the area. People think, oh, it's really localized. That's how they're able to grab people in different localities. We have not received any reports of a missing child since this post began circulating. We have not requested the GBI's assistance with an Amber Alert activation. A search by our officers located the same post being shared all over social media with the name of the city changed in the vast majority. This post appears to be a scam. There is a new trend of sharing missing persons and dangerous persons posts on social media that spread across the country. The post will remain the same while the city is using usually changed to the local area of the poster. This is nothing more than a cruel prank meant to scare, worry those who see it. Indeed, and they chose such a young girl, a five-year-old, you know, the urgency that makes people think it's real. The Citrus County Sheriff's Office posted on August 11th at 6.29 p.m. Fake post. Citrus, we are currently aware of a fake post that has been in circulation on social media. In the post pictured here, it states that a five-year-old toddler has been missing for seven hours with 
an Amber Alert being issued. This post is fake. Our office is not searching for the pictured toddler, nor has an Amber Alert been issued. Individuals oftentimes create fictitious posts, such as this one, in hopes of tugging on the heartstrings of unknowing citizens who may reach out to offer to help. And you know, can I say thank God for people who have their heart in the right place and immediately want to help. The Citrus Police continued, when they do, they usually are directly directed to provide some sort of monetary donation to assist with the search. Do not fall for this scam. Well, in this instance, they're getting others to share their viral scams and their malware links without knowing it. But police say, please be advised that our office will always post missing persons, especially that of children, to our social media page directly. Additionally, if a state-issued Amber Alert is sent, citizens will receive that alert on their cell phones. So as long as they don't have them turned off, you should get the Amber Alert on your phone. We are committed to reducing the spread of false news on social media. If you'd like to stay up to date on missing persons in Citrus County, please give our page a like and follow, or you may reach out to our office directly. Have a safe weekend, they warn. Well, hopefully these types of scammers who are stooping so low as to steal the photos of some innocent children and spread it around as if they're missing, I hope it won't stop people from sharing real news about real missing children and adults. We can always do our part by checking official police department websites and Facebook pages for news about missing kids. And we know if a real Amber Alert is issued, you can check your phone or check missing kids.org to verify if it's true, although not all missing children are there. For example, I just tried to find Josiah or Josiah Mitchell, a little missing boy, on missingkids.org. I couldn't find him there. I don't know if it's because police have more information about that case or not, but once the missing child is found, they generally update the website and remove that child's page. There was a recent warning to parents of real missing kids in an alert about ransom scams targeting parents. On August 17th, the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children wrote, Recently, we've seen some cases where scammers are targeting the parents of missing children. In essence, the scammers are out there searching for the words like missing or missing child or last seen or whatever. They search online for info about missing children and then they track down the parents and their cell phone numbers because you know everything's like public record basically and they demand ransom. And they even do it for parents whose children aren't missing. They fake it and make it seem like they have the child there. It's sad to think that scammers are stooping this low to target innocent people but it helps us to stay one step ahead of of these evildoers by not falling for their tricks and their traps, but warning people instead. They're trying to use the stereotypical fears of Americans to get our attention in the wrong way. They know the type of cases Americans pay attention to and we won't fall into their traps, but share this video to warn others. Romans 8:32. He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for all of us, how will he not also along with him graciously give us all things? Thanks for watching. Be aware of crazy scams like this because I believe as scammers see the popularity of true crime and how much people just dive in, I immediately go out and, and help and put up drones and share Facebook posts of missing people, I think they will try these schemes more and more. But we have our own tools, we have our own discernment, our Holy Spirit-led gut to tell us when something is real and when something is false. This is one of those false schemes we don't want to share. We don't want to endanger anyone by exposing them to these malware and these horrible links and all the scam that are like phishing schemes or what have you. Share this video, warn others about this missing persons, missing child scam, and watch what you share on Facebook. Pray for the people who are really missing that they would be found. Thanks for watching.